What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So the roundoff happened last time, we captured Madrid and we pushed onwards to the Spanish frontier regions of Pamplona and Barcelona with two of our armies. Sorry, I'm just going to move my microphone in a second. Um, and our last under army, Sir John Moore, is moving towards Cartagena where they will be billeted for a final attack on Palma which will knock the Spanish out of the game completely. However, you may notice this large blue column. This is the Spanish fleet, amongst which is the Santissima Trinidad, and I would very, very, very much like to capture the said ship. Um, so we will not be knocking Spain out before I've had a chance to catch that ship, but I think what we will be doing is taking some of their territories, because their armies are quite pitiful. So with Alexander Abercrombie, we will assault Pamplona. Uh, yeah, from where we were before. We're in a good position. Oops, some nice high ground right in the middle. Um, yeah, so we're in a nice position. Uh, we, we've got some well-equipped stacks in production. In Britain, we've got uh, another being recruited. Ooh, snow. So I don't think my artillery is going to be great. a great asset necessarily. So let's deploy foot artillery. Then just run the walk walk them up here. To form a battle line, then just pick. A really dumb formation, but just bunch them all together for now. I'm gonna keep my light foot out here to help protect the artillery and then let's keep my Cavalry on the left, general in the centre, bish bash bosh. Let's deploy my artillery up on this up on this slight rise. My actual infantry can march on, I suppose. Let's bring send my advance up my light infantry and my dragoons. Break them up a little bit because it looks like they are tro they are planning on coming to uh, to meet me. So I do want to be a bit smarter with how I deploy. Might actually run them all. Particularly on the right, because you can see these, these militia garrison units might get into position. I'd like to be there first, so I'll accept them being a bit tired. Beautiful looking uniforms. This is lots of artillery. So this will be where the first shots are fired, I would say. Oh, they're running too. Ah, oh, you're not running. None of you are running. Run into position, you fools. Oh, don't forget Wellesley. These are British Royal British Fusiliers, which look pretty darn similar. Despite the units, despite the uh, symbol here, they look pretty similar. Yep, difficult to pick out differences. Maybe helmet badges. These are more square, and these are round. Yeah, that'll be it. Pretty much the chief difference. There we go. 
about to open fire of the first shots of this battle. Artillery. Unlimber. Light infantry. Run, because you're about to get in. Not engaged, but... They're coming. Here's Sir Arthur. Poor devils. It's probably all going to hit this unit of armed citizenry. Miss. Hits. Misses. Ah, yes, there we go. The first shots. So let's advance these guys up in slowly to start to capture the town. These guys are all firing, so I'm going to leave them alone. Position them up so they're going to start engaging with my light infantry soon. God, massed artillery fire, it's just devastating. There we go, they're going to be engaged by my fusiliers, and they're just out of range of my light infantry, but they're going to march into it. Be honest if they want to let me have the town so quickly I'll, I'll take it let's bring these guys up as reserves turn fire will off so my 45th regiment of foot is going to hit this militia unit there we go we've started firing let's move up my line my light infantry to provide fire onto the Spanish Charge them as well, actually. It looks like you're going to get hit, so you may as well charge in. There we go. Light infantry picking them off. But it looks like they're probably going to chain route. citizenry militia that's all it is Spain really dropped the ball when it came to preparing for war may as well just charge them with my cavalry to get some get some experience Everyone go for this unit of fire like I'm citizen, I suppose. I think if I shuffled them back ever so slightly. Ah, oh, you know what? Just do that. You're about to be charged by a bunch of angry Brits. Which might not sound as threatening as it could have been. Glorious victory, sir. It's soon to be yours. Yeah, just, un un just release my cavalry. They may as well start farming kills to gain more, gain some experience. This is a very, these are very green troops.
ultimately all of my artillery is going to become a real massive threat now. <laughs> Move my general up because he's gonna need to be in a position to jump on some Spanish. There we go. That should be it. That is it. It says triple speed it. So because this is a pretty pretty junior army, um, I actually want to Okay, halt. I want to actually do some killing with my troops. Oh, he's being shot at by my own guys, don't worry. But yes, it makes sense, because experience is such a good thing, and the replenishment rate is sufficiently slow. I should go for that infantry unit garrison. Even it's the way the general is, but I don't care about the general exactly. It's just that it's a it's just that it's a big block of three hundred men. That's what I'm interested in. Actually, you may as well spend the time to do it. Oh, the only guys left running away are over here. Although it might be worth. It might be worth actually working out how ending a battle does, because sometimes when you do auto-resolve, you get more experience than if you actually fought the battle. Because the AI kind of distributes things a bit more evenly, so I've read. So you end up just having a unit which, you, in, when you fought it, might not have had much of an impact, but actually it's been, it's been given enough experience from the AI to actually, have, to actually be a big deal. It's my telephone there. Hit them. Yeah, there's one. This, this is the guy I was looking at. And he looks like he's going to make it. As fast as his little Spanish legs can carry him. No, he's not going to make it. Ah, but we got him. So that's the first. Richard, the next being a Barcelona. War always finds a way. Alright, Jeff Goldblum. Uh, loot it because we get a load of money. <laughs> uh, no, it's peacefully occupy. I was going to loot it, but there's not really much point if you have to spend spend it all anyway. So that's Pamplona secured, which gives us a vineyard and it gives us a uh, manufacturing or a factory, so we can recruit some good artillery. Uh, no, you repair. Let's hop out of Arthur Wellesley. See, it's tempting to auto that because it's not really a. Yeah, I'll auto that. Ooh, do I want to liberate Catalonia? Um. No. Nope. Sorry, Catalans. You are part of the secret society, the Masonic Lodge. Spawn spies. How weird. Ha! Gerard Ah, Le... oh, he's, a... he's got a column, infantry column. French marinier, mariners, marines, fusiliers, six pound a horse. Cool. So, oh, you're still. You're not. I moved the wrong one. You're, you are supposed to do. Field ambulances to increase uh, increase uh, replenishment rates. Good, all of my trade ships. But let's see how the the French respond to my push against their only ally. Oh, oh, well, that's promising. They're pushing. Oh, okay. So they are sending troops. They are re trying to. They are rebalancing. My direction, which is good. So if I can get another army in England, we can have three armies on the continent. Uh, one that can do some island hopping. Well, the Prussians. Okay, so the Prussians are near Berlin, as you'd expect. Peace. Counteroffer. 
piece. Use this option to ask a nation to abandon their alliance with another nation. Break your alliance with all of them. From emerging against you. No. Actually, no. I want your... Sh I want your... See, I was interested just from a, from a theoretical perspective, you know, how it would work. But then I suddenly realised, actually, I want your ships. Yeah, trading port. Magistrate. Actually, no. You guys get the marines with my uh, Lux Bridge unit. Then enlist a general, and you're going to get Black Bob Crockford. Because look at him. Beast. So let's get some six pounders. Nine pounders. To be honest, I think it worked quite well having two six pounders and two nine pounders. Because the nine pounders are less accurate. So let's do that. <gasps> Yes, we will get the Black Watch. Thank you very much. Wait, horse artillery. I want six pound a foot. Good. I can't get you rifles yet, can I? Because I've not got rifles being researched. Which is unfortunate. Sandy Bay. So I might have to sail my ships out just to provoke. Not to provoke. I'm going to sail them out to go siege Menorca. Let's see if I can equip. Yeah, you guys can, can embark, but actually I might want you to replenish a bit more first. I don't know. It's their capital. So if I sail one of these merchantmen to go have a look. Yeah, they're not going to have anything big. I don't know. Maybe one more turn can't hurt. Secret society. Increases happiness. Let's see if your growth is shrinking. It was bankruptcy. Well, it was bankruptcy, but now you're not bankrupt. So you should. So why has it gone up? You know, it's... 166 slash 240 predicted. But you shouldn't be bankrupt. You should be happy. You should be happy because you have been liberated by your British saviours. Oh, I need to I need to get back on my blockading uh, French ports. There you go, the garrison in Toulouse. The French have taken Prague. So the Prussians are rebalancing massively. This new threat to the south. But the Prussians should be fine. Well, they should be. They weren't in reality, I don't think. But we will see. Got the, Russians. Well, the Russians are just not being helpful. At least if the Prussians lose all their Prussian territory, then they won't be dead. Aha. So let's do. There he is, Sir Blakeney. Um, infiltrate Paris. You're probably not going to get away with it, but it's worth having a crack. Infiltrate Prague. Agent spotted. So who's here? Not Napoleon, importantly. Gibraltar has cobbled roads. That's a bit overkill. A bit overkill for a region that big. So let's get Court of Justice, Grand Opera House. Let's do a bit of investing in Madrid. Let's build a factory. Good job replenishing. Everyone's replenishing. Oh yeah, you're ready to rock and roll now. Embark. Then let's get Nelson to blockade the port. So I don't want to... I don't want to attack the city. What I want to do is send a unit into the port to scare them out. Or not scare them out, but, you know, spook them out. 
Edgar Ridge Minister. God, I keep forgetting about my ministers. You guys must be hating me for that. Hey, at least some of them have gone up. But you're bad. Oh, God, you're even worse. Plus one management. Okay, what did that? Characters within your nation will develop personality traits that affect their abilities. Some traits are present when a character enters the campaign. Others are acquired. Okay, I need, I need to boot this guy out. Get it on Anvil. You suck. Cool, then turn. What's the Dutch? An ever present threat. Got another French stack pushing east. Yeah, once my armies in Spain have replenished, then I will ship them, well, send them on to the next next pair of French territories. Let's see how they like being attacked. Uh, but I do need to keep, so I need to keep my investment in infrastructure that helps with, helps with uh, replenishment high. Field ambulances. So I've got field ambulances, so go for conscript infantry tactics good it's the black watch so you've got one unit of cavalry let's get a unit of dragoons oh, let's get some more highland foot they're elite but damn it it's John Moore he deserves elite so that's that another five six units with one on the way yeah we're well on the way to becoming a, a decent a decent stack. So Spain's got enough enough capacity now to build a decent army. Oh god, I need to invest in infrastructure and stuff. Why is bankruptcy still going up? You should be fine. See? Now you're growing again. Although. Next turn, fix the Roads. Let's take John Moore. Let's hit Menorca. Oh, so there's loads of junk. But there it is. Federico Gravina with a Santissima Trinidad dragon. Well, it's San <laughs> it's Santissima Trinidad class, and they've given it, called it Dragon. 122 gunship the line, 106 guns, 74, 74, then lots of stuff which just doesn't right factor into it but let's fight against the Spanish Armada so this is where you'll see me start to be a bit crap because even though I've got a fantastic fleet I'll still lose not necessarily brilliant at naval battle shall we say the best way to keep one's word is not to give it yes isn't that so okay let's get French captured ship at the front the Scipion Comet to be honest it's all much of a muchness I think Victory in the way. Then. Wow. A mighty fleet indeed. So we want to sail this way, pretty much. I don't want those reinforcements. To be honest, as soon as they come in, I'm going to sell them to run. So this is the Santissima Trinidad. This is the one I want the most. Oh, she's oh, she's damaged. She's damaged. She's only got 62 guns. Oh, is that the same for all of them? Oh, Victoria's in pretty good shape. Aragante's pretty good shape. Yeah, lots of them have lots of them are damaged. The fact that Santissima Trinidad has only got half of her guns is excellent news. And there is the Admiral himself. And there's this guy with a... What's that, a telescope? Yeah, and it's going to roll up newspaper. <laughs> Just when anyone acts up, he bats them over the head with it. Oh no, that's the Admiral. That's the Admiral. That's the Captain. Then we've got all these junk brigs, which, you know, 
a a broadside, and that'll be done. That'll be that. But yeah, if I can get Satisfied Trinidad, that would be perfect. If I can get the more of these ships I can get, the better. If I can get these three, I would be so happy. Victoria is an impressive looking ship. These are British ships with our black and yellow hulls. It's really nice sprinkling in some. I'll say that's French. It'd be nice to sprinkle in some captured red Spanish hulled ships. But here we go. What's it? Here we go. You. Thank God you're going against the wind. But here we go. What's it? Here we go. Double speed here a bit. It's not far though. And she's only got 62 guns. She was the biggest thing I was worried about. I bet most of her guns are on this side. Well, she's lost half her guns, I suspect. They're, I don't know if oh, I don't know if they're evenly distributed or not. I mean they all look okay, but we all know that she can't really. She can't actually. Okay, let's get ready. Soon, she's going to be within range of this former French ship. Which just... See, this this is what makes Empire and Napoleon, to me, just so beautiful. I could broadside, but I'm more than happy just to let fire at will decide this. I think you're going to be pretty close now. Firing, not in combat. There you go. Once the game settled down a bit. Our Scipion's fired, and then Redoubtable has fired, and the battle has commenced. Keep on sailing, she's at half sail. I think I want to do that. I want to curve round. Oh, broadside coming in. It's encouraged. Admiral nearby. I bet he's not encouraged. I bet he wishes he wasn't there. We brought their formation to a stop. And as more and more of these little ships become the target of my first and second rate ships of the line. I don't, I'm not bothered about fast ships because I do not care about capturing you know some of these smaller ones that might get away I want this one oh, another broadside coming in dismasted main mist is gone perfect So when all these little ships start messing around with my formation that things will get annoying. <laughs> oh, there we go. She's lost her foremost as well. Rolling broadside coming in. Oh, man. It's sad in a way. She's not had a chance to to fire, to fight the way she wants to fight. She's not fought the way she's supposed to fight. Okay, they've all changed tack and they're all turning to the port. So let's... Let's do this. Let's start curving them around to the left. Get some port batteries in. That, and when they do break more formation in half, the leading elements can fire on the left.
But at least that's the Santissima Trinidad uh, neutered quite effectively. Look at this little veteran frigate. This tiny little frigate's been dismasted. It's the absolute carnage against the Spanish fleet. It's only when we're leading elements they're actually involved. Only eight guns. If I can make them sink or rout, that would be great. Because those little ships are so much grief. They're already sucking fire away from Victoria. I love how, oh, I love how the Santissima Trinidad just sticks with it. She's lost a load of her mass. She's got probably all of her guns on this side. because I don't think she's fired yet. There you go. Victoria's fired her first broadside into Hampton. Game's starting to chug along a bit with this. San Bernardo... Yeah, she's inspired by by Santissima Trinidad. Let's do chain shot as you sail in to start to take up Arrogante. What a name for a ship, arrogant. Okay, Arabs on fire, so halt fire at will. Let's get you on chain shot as well. There you go, bring the bring the ships around. There you go, so as all these frigates break my formation in half, then uh, things like the Redoubtable will be able to fire with their port guns as well. Yep, so these guys can still, still cause damage, but that's why I've switched to round shot to start to take out their sails. Our oh, Arab has lost a set of sails. In which case, you may as well start firing round shot. To be honest, keep firing chain. I know Santissima Trinidad was, was felled by round shots, but I would still prefer um, to be knocking the mast down. Ooh, I see Victoria making me pay for it. Main mist is gone. All right, fire as fire as she bears. Broadside. Oh, I was meant to do chain shot. Nay, say be. Okay, so let's take you guys. Group, group, group. Your your own ships now. Sail on through. So these guys are in trouble. they're getting into a one-on-one -on -one gunfight with these Spanish ships which isn't inherently a bad thing it's just a thing I need to get my my fleet moving as well I need to sail at full sail Side right, so let's try knock out. Let's try knock out two of them. Well, try knock out one of her masts, but fire so that she's. God, there's so much action going on. My PC is starting to struggle. Yeah, I could well lose Hibernia. She's getting fired upon from many, many angles. 
And these little Spanish tugs are starting to to dirty up the waters a bit. Sandblast Brig. Yeah, you've got you got a full broadside. I don't blame you. Oh, she's back from the fight. She's suffering from a morale victory, which isn't the end of the world. Morale defeat. Sorry. As these little ships yap at their heels. Let's keep you just firing round shot into Santissima Trinidad. All of you, or none of you, sorry, are firing at sailing at full sail. So, full sail it up. We just keep our ab. Just. Broadside after broadside. Just keep going. Let's get some chain shot into Arrogante, start to slow her down. She just let's just twist you around a little bit. Twist you around a little bit. Then drop anchor. And just shoot. Round shot. Let's come back around. So I've got Comet is engaging Victoria. Victory's on fire! Victory's on fire! Uh, broadside. Reload. There we go, it's knocked some sails out of her. Start pummeling fire into the merchantmen. Obviously these tugs just muddy the waters so much. Another couple of broadsides I think they'll be done. So here's Rose, here is Nelson himself. Let's accelerate you. Let's turn you a little bit. To be honest, just fire a broadside anyway. You're probably going to miss most of them, but let's sell you on a little bit. So, Santissima Trinidad is routing. So many ships. Sail this way. Just keep firing with count with round shot, canister shot, not canister shot, chain shot. There you go. Argante is concerned, as you should be. You know what? Chain shot. Let's take out your last mast. Ah, we missed. Broadside, round shot, victory, where's victory? Victory, fire well! It's firing on in all directions. Victory could well rout from the field. She is in a very tricky spot. She is wreathed in flame from all directions. Oh, 
Well, yes, dolphin. So, uh, broadside left, broadside right. So far, your broadside doesn't even matter. It's necessarily accurate or very, very well placed. God, all of you guys keep moving in. God, oh God alive, this is beautiful, I have to say. Just sail through the carnage, firing your guns in both directions. Uh, fire broadside right. Pivot to the left and we'll fire broadside left. You're going to miss, but whatever. You want to come this way in case you, all, your gun, all their guns are facing the other direction. Excellent shots into the mast of the merchantman. Merchantman can somewhat help offset the cost of this endeavour. There. Keep spinning around. Ah, uh, Nelson's flagship is on fire. Rose. Oh no! Wait, you have to. You have to. Okay, Rose, you got to get the hell out of there. Ah, oh, if Nelson dies burning down the Armada, <laughs> yeah, Santissima Trinidad is routing. Go, 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 go. Get out of there. Everyone, protect your admiral. Concern attack from astern, so it's that 74 gun frigate that's causing you a bother. 74 gun ship of the line. God damn you all. Full sail. You're going to lose could lose your admiral. Okay, just just sail along a little bit. Gun it, gun it, gun it, gun it, gun it. Just full sail. Go, 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 go. Okay, Nelson out of dodge. If you guys want to do something, chase down that brig. The French ship is having a pop at range. Gun it, Nelson. Get the hell out of there. Oh, God. Go, 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 go. Don't, don't blow up. Ah, Santisma Trinidad has struck her colours. So, empty your guns. Sail on to take Arroganto. Which is routing.
They were no longer on fire. Make them pay for what they've done. The comet is now on fire. One comet. Fair enough, comet. You have taken a lot of damage. Come on, man. Fire your guns. S slow down that ship of the line. Fire for a main mist. Damn you all. Full sail. Protect your help protect your admiral. 74 gun ship of the line. Okay, I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull Nelson out. He's a brilliant admiral, but holy moly, I do not want to lose him. Sail. I have no qualms with. Okay, use. Okay, use. Use a shield. Put your ship. Get discovery in between you and Nelson. Go 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 go. Lay your ships, lay your ships away, alongside. Actually, you do a handbrake turn, <laughs> Pijou. Wavering, you're on fire. Damn right you're concerned. A vast matey. Finally, cover for Nelson. Holy moly, that was touch and go. Routing, good. So if you want to continue. Oh, the smash ship blew up. That was my ship. Comet blew up. Still. So, 122 gun. Victory. Third rate. Try chase down that brig. You try chase down that brig. Everyone else that's routing is just. It's just all that. It's all just a fallacy. So while it's mostly on morale, it's pretty upset. Why not prepare? Pyrrhic! Pyrrhic! I lost one ship blew up. One of my ships. I mean, holy hell. I mean, I know I'm playing as Great Britain, but is that the standard I'm being held to? No! I didn't... But I can't... Oh... Well, that's upsetting. That's really annoying. <laughs> well, I went so much effort to capture them. Well, this will be the final battle of the Spanish Empire in this game. However, looking at the timer, I think it's time to end the part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time.